Hi everyone, welcome to Geek Decoder SEO Power BI channel. So today I'm going to do tutorial number 56, which I explain calculate cumulative total using earlier DAX function. Uh, so I'll show you uh, it in with a very simple example. Press subscribe and click the bell icon so you will never miss any Power BI updates from Geek Decoders. Right, first just to show you what is cumulative means. So cumulative means first this one will directly goes to this number one and then this value plus this value will get calculated together and deliver this value and this whole these two values and this value will get, get calculated together and provide this value likewise it goes down so when it's come to 36 row number all one two three four row numbers will add together these four numbers will add together and gives this value right so now i'm in the power bi desktop uh, dashboard so here my data source contains salesperson item sales value sales date feedback and sales country so here what i'm going to do is i will calculate this sales value in a cumulative order according to the dates so here as an index we'll take it as a date so according to the dates we'll calculate the sales value and add it to a new column so that is our task will be today so first i will go and create a new column right so when it's come to next function i will write the name column rename as cumulative sum right so then i will use calculate function here calculate then i want the sum of sales value right and the expression part is over now it is time to write the filter so here i go to the next line by pressing alt enter filter so here table once i have to give sheet one and then filter expression that means current row sales date date should be less than or equal to earlier sales date date right so then it will sum all the values all the sales date which is below this date and give us a total as a sum right so that is how it works right so as you observe now so cumulative sum is 1000 that is equal to this one and then it will add 150 added to that one the next column so here it uh, it, it gives you the value of 1150 so accordingly each and every row according to the dates it will give the cumulative output so this is how we generate it and thanks for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel Please share it with your friends. Keep in touch.